Hi everyone, my name is Parag Pal and welcome back in the new video of project management using Microsoft Project. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to manage the cost of each and every activity. If you manage the cost of each and every activity, you will get to know what is the exact cost or tentative cost required for the building construction. For that, you need to know about bill of quantity, abstract, measurement sheet and all. Okay, that is very important. Without that, you cannot further go for the exact calculations. In this video, as we are going to discuss for the cost management, but before that, you need to know how we provide us these resources, which we discussed in the last lecture. Link given in the description box. So, first of all, you can see this red particular icon. This icon represent, it means the overall locations. It means whatever the resources we provided here, that are over allocated for this particular activity. Okay, so we need to focus on this particular icon because this icon need to be vanished clearly. But each and every time you need to proper monitor every task to get the exact results. For that, what we have to do is just go to the here and click on a resource usage. When you click on the resource usage, you can see the unassigned task. Okay, then you can see the particular resource and that resource is assigned for this task. So here Mason is assigned for this task. Okay. Here you can see the engineer assigned for this much task. So whatever the resource is in a red color, it means it is over allocated. Okay. So what we have to do, we need to understand the spending plan of the working culture. So here you need to define the spending like working of the particular activity, how that activity can be worked. So first of all, here you can see for documentation, we allocated 250 hours. Are the 250 hours really required for this activity? Here we are assigning maximum durations. You can see, we will go to the Gantt chart. You can see 31.25 duration we provided, but it doesn't mean that whole day we need to utilize, we need to work on that particular resources or that particular resource engineer will work whole day for this activity. It is not like that. So you need to manage this working hours. So at the start of the project, we are allowing him to work for only two hours in the for each every day. Okay, you can see we are allowing to work for him two hours. So you need to put the hours. Okay, like how much hours he will work. Okay, in next week also, I am allowing to work him like for two hours only, not more than that. Okay. After that, in next month, I'm allowing to working for one day only. That's it. Okay. Only one day, right? You can see we are allowing to working for only one day. You can drag like this also. No issue because this is simple Excel it is. Okay. We are allowing one day working. That's it. Okay. Or you can reduce afterward. You can reduce here 0 0.3 like that. Like how much person resource is required along with that you need to put the resource allocations okay so so according to me the documentation process will not last for a whole day okay it takes at earlier at the inception stage of the project it take maximum utilization but afterward the working for that particular activity is not more it is very moderate after that second one is a mobilization of plant and machinery yes you can see we have 8.5 hours working each and every day so we need to only manage that 8.5 hours because if we if we allow more than that okay so you can see as per our resource sheet we need to provide him the extra cost the overhead rate of 700 rupees per hour that is one of the very major criteria that we need to look okay so you can see guys here for the mobilization i am allowing to working the three hours in this particular week here i am also allowing three hours to work okay here also I'm three hours, three hours, three hours because it is an inception stage. Okay. Here also I'm allowing three hours to work. Okay. You can see three hours, three hours, three hours. Okay. Here also I'm allowing him to work three hours. Okay. Because we have to work for the activity. Okay. And here one, one hours for we only he will work. Okay. So let's prepare here. Here also it is a one hour. Okay, so let's put a two two hours over here. Okay, then one one hours. Okay, like that. So graph should be in a S curve. The graph, whatever you are preparing, that should be in S format. Then and only then it it can work properly. Okay. Now you can see, guys, 
here as you provided three hours then we need to go for it now you can see the total work is required for this documentation work is 49 hours okay 46 hour for mobilization we required 47 hours of this engineer person if you if you want to reduce it you can reduce it now for making of column we required now you can see here if you can see properly okay the person like among 8 8.5 only 5 hours he is working so rest he is blank he is ideal it means he is not working so you can use that particular time for the other activity also okay but now i am keeping it as a blank now i am providing 3.5 year here so you can see my 8.5 hours is totally utilized okay so i am stretching this particular task so you can see my providing only 8.5 hours over here okay so i am providing 3.5 here also okay like this i am providing the allocations now you can see 3.5 over here okay now you can see it is 2 over we need to put okay again same here now we can provide 3 we can provide 4.5 hours okay 5.5 hours over here okay let's put the maximum hours because he's not going to work 6.5 okay like this right okay like this you can put so along with that you get to know how much amount of time he is going to take for particular activity right so similarly if you go to the particular gan chart chart now so you can see the cost is reduced from 1 lakh 20 thousand to 28 thousand rupees okay so before allocation it was 1 lakh 20 thousand now it is 28 thousand and the over allocation mark is also reduced it means what that the proper spending plan management is very important when you are looking for any particular construction activity so guys for today only we are stop here but you can see you can just go to the report and if you go to the allocations resources okay so you can see the proper mason and engineer proper allocations you can see over here if you go to the report you can see the critical task okay if you go to the report you can in the resource format you can see the resource overview okay you can see how engineer is allocated for which particular activity we have allocated okay okay start date finish date is already assigned remaining hours is over here okay so these all things we have assigned you can see the resources graph okay you can see that in this particular week okay only we are utilizing 24 percentage of our allocated resources rest all are free in next week onward we are using the over allocations resources also okay so guys in today's uh, lecture what i have taught you about the basic requirements and the basic management of the course okay so i am providing this particular sheet to you in next video so with the help of that you can use it for a longer period of time okay so thank you so much guys have a nice day bye bye